Oi, meus amigos! Mark here with Walter's World, and we're back in Brazil. And when you ask me my favorite country to go to in the world, it's right here in Brazil. In a place where there's so much stuff I love to do, there's some things you don't want to do. So today what we have for you are 10 things you don't do when you are in Brazil. And first things first, most important thing here is you don't drink warm beer in Brazil. You drink cerveja bem gelada, which means you drink really cold beer, okay? Now, I know if you're coming from Europe or the US, you're like, oh, our beer is cold. No, no, you don't understand. Here, the beer, when you get it, like almost, you can almost make icicles in the bottom when you get a shoppy, a glass of beer, a draft beer, or if you get one of the big bottles, the beer has to be ice cold. And if the beer isn't cold enough, you can actually send it back. So step number one, don't drink warm beer in Brazil, only ice cold beer, whether it's Brahma or Skull, which is not the best, but you know, it's one of those beers you gotta have when you are here. Now, the second don't I have for there is, you know you wanna say everything's okay? Well, don't use the okay sign here in Brazil because this in Brazil is worse than the middle finger. It's really kind of calling to question the a man's masculinity and it's a really a masculine society here, so don't use the okay sign here, okay? Use the thumbs up. Brazil, it's all about thumbs up, all right? So this bad, don't, don't ever use it. I mean, I remember the first time I used it by accident, the guy I was driving with reached across the moving car in the highway, slapped my hand down and said, dude, what are you doing? Like I told him it was okay, thanks for letting us pass. He's like, no, this is worse than the middle finger. I'm like, oh, okay, so thumbs up only here. Now, the third thing you don't wanna do when you're here is, <sighs> Don't expect things to happen super fast when you are in Brazil. You're gonna have to pack some patience when you come to Brazil. And the farther you kind of go north in the country, the more patience you're probably gonna need. So just know that don't expect things to happen quickly. They will happen eventually in good time, but <laughs> don't expect things to happen quickly. So the fourth don't we have is, don't expect a lot of English to be spoken here. I know people get always upset. Well, what do you expect people to speak English everywhere? No, I don't. And I don't expect that anywhere. I know when you go to another country, you need to know some of the other language. But a lot of times when you travel, like in Europe, people speak multiple languages. Here in Brazil, it's Portuguese, Portuguese, and Portuguese. So make sure you know a few words when you come. Obrigado is thank you. A conta is the bill, things like that. Because when you're going to like the backwoods, like I I'm at now, or even not that back was like Minas Gerais, where all the colonial like mining towns are, you might go to a hotel, they probably won't speak much English. But what's cool is, even if they don't speak English or Spanish or things like that, they will communicate with you and you will get by okay, but just don't expect a lot of English or English menus and things like that. Big tourist areas, you'll be okay, but if you're gonna explore the real beauty of Brazil and getting in the backwoods and stuff like that, don't expect too much of that English out there, okay? Now the fifth don't I have is don't trust the traffic lights, okay? Especially at night in the big cities because what happens is people run the red lights at night. So you really got to pay attention. You may think, well, it's green for the, for the crosswalk so I should be fine. No, 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 no. I remember times in Rio, the only time the buses would slow down at night is when they were coming to a green light. And I asked the guy, I'm like, so why are you slowing down at green, but you blow through the red? Well, at the red, I know everyone else is slowing down because it's green because they think people are going through the red. So I only pay attention to the green. I slow down and go through that in case someone else is running the red. I mean, it's crazy. But as a pedestrian, you really need to be careful here because just because it says you can go doesn't mean you can go. So make sure you really do pay attention with that, okay? Number six has to do with a toilet, because you guys know I love my toilet important information. When you're going to the bathroom, you're going number two, you wanna make sure, can I throw the toilet paper down the toilet or not? You might see a little trash can by the toilet, um, and you wanna ask your posada, if you stay at a small hotel or at someone's house, hey, do I throw the toilet paper in the toilet or do I throw it in the little trash bag or the, the little bin next to the toilet? Because the pipes here don't always, can't always take it all. So make sure you ask about that. So don't just throw the TP in there. Also, another little don't of the shower. Don't be scared of the shower in the bathroom in case there's electrical cords going out, because they have electrical heating for the showers in a lot of places so there's another don't for you okay now the seventh don't I have for you is don't pass up the local food. Look, here in Brazil, they have food you've never even heard of, fruit you've never even seen before. You have no idea. You're like, I can't translate this because I don't even know what it is. There's so much great stuff here from the meats to the fish to the, you know, the acarajé, which is like, 
I, I can't even explain some of these foods. Feijoada, which is a bean stew with parts of animals I won't tell you about because you won't want to eat it, but you should eat it. Fried bananas, I mean, there's so much. Pal de queijo, there's so much great food here. Don't get stuck going to kind of tourist restaurants. Go and explore. When you're in Minas Gerais, have the chicken cooked in its own blood. And, and when you're in Sao Paulo, go eat some of the international food that's there. And in Bahia, man, their food there is just crazy with the coconut and all kinds of stuff there. You have such wonderful food here. Don't pass it up, okay? Also, when you're drinking, hey, don't pass up the drinks either. The, the Kinshasa, the Pinga, that's their, their spirit here. You wanna mix it together with some lime and sugar and ice. And you got a caipirinha, the national kind of fancy drink of Brazil. Of course, you drink your beer, like I said before so you have that. Now the eighth don't I have for you is don't mess with us mosquitoes. I'm not kidding. I mean I was in the Pantanal a few years ago and I had my wristbands of anti-mosquito stuff spraying myself with mosquito stuff and I could literally see a ball of mosquitoes around me. The mosquitoes are not a joke here but the thing is if you come here and you know the u.s summer european summer in the winter mosquitoes aren't so bad but if you come in the summer when it's mosquito season here oh man they will bite you and they will get you oh, oh i'll sting you not fun okay so i do say don't mess around with mosquitoes make sure you're bringing some whether it's you know anti-bite or you've got some bug spray or the, the 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 bracelets to keep away the mosquitoes you will need those when you're here pretty much regardless of where you go in brazil obviously the more wetland it is the more mosquitoes you're going to have so be careful with that now number nine and ten we're taking it to the beach right back over there uh but <laughs> I'm not, I'll be a little more modest this way because it's on the internet, but the ninth thing you don't bring to Brazil is modesty, okay? Brazilians, they'll talk about anything. They'll joke about anything. They'll wear next to nothing at the beach. So you think, oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm too skinny. Oh, I'm too whatever. Don't worry about it. The Brazilians, they'll have the smallest bikinis and the little speedos and stuff like that on, regardless of size, shape. And it's so fun because it's like liberating. I don't have to worry about people going body shaming, body shaming. Hey, it's Brazil. We're all here to have a great time. So don't bring your modesty when you're here. Bring your love of life because this place is great for it. And our 10th don't we have is also for the beach. When you go to the beach in Brazil, don't bring a beach towel. You don't sit on the beach or the beach towel. You sit with a kanga, which is kind of like a, it's like thin like a sheet, and you lay that down and you sit on that. Yes, you can have a towel to dry off, but you lay on your kanga. You lay on this little thin sheet there, not a towel. That's why when you go to the beaches in Rio or Bahia and you're like, oh, I wonder where the tourists are. Oh, they're laying on a beach towel tourist okay anyway those are 10 don'ts for going to brazil i will have one more don't not go to brazil because this place is awesome it is my favorite place in the world i used to live here and i believe for brazil this is a great place so make sure you come enjoy love it it is awesome we've got so many more videos on brazil 10 things that'll shock you about coming to brazil five things you love and hate about rio what to eat when you're here what you should know before you come all on our website at waltersworld.com they're also on our youtube channel look on our playlist visit Brazil travel videos all kinds of good stuff you want to learn some Portuguese before you come we've got learning Portuguese videos as well but I gotta say Brazil is fantastic and the people are the best in the world so have a great time here in Brazil I'll say adios or bye bye and uh, enjoy Brazil because eh, it's awesome it's maravilloso it is marvelous here bye